the big question is why do we need sleep we're just starting to understand and know that sleep is essential adults need approximately seven to eight hours of sleep and teenagers or as you're growing up you need at least 10 hours of sleep we do get signals from our body telling our brain that we are tired and signals from the environment that is dark outside and the release of hormones called adenosine and melatonin sends us to a deep dozy state that grows deeper making our breathing our heartbeat slow down and our muscles relax during this non-REM cycle or also called rapid eye movement is when our body replenish and repair and preparing itself for the next day however approximately 30 percent of adults and 60 percent of teenagers are sleep deprived and most likely the culprit is the social media uh, facebook and youtube and everything to do with your smartphone when we lose sleep this is not a minor inconvenience staying awake this can cause serious body harms learning memory recollection mood and reaction time are affected sleeplessness can also cause inflammation hallucination high blood pressure and is also linked to diabetes and obesity so very quickly if this is your first time on my channel my name is Maria and welcome to Aglaya Aesthetics Online I am an esthetician and aesthetics instructor I've been an examiner for many years give me comments below love to connect with you and if you have not subscribed yet please consider it click on the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorials so let's get started. Studies show that chronic sleep deprived fewer than six hours per night of sleep increases stroke risk by 4.5 times in comparison to those who consistently sleep seven to eight hours. How can sleep deprivation cause so many problems and immense suffering? Some scientists think accumulation of waste products in the brain during our waking hours our cells are busy using up our day's energy sources breaking down various byproducts if these byproducts are not cleared away they collectively accumulate and overload the brain so what happens in our brain when we sleep the brain stays clean and operational thanks to the glymphatic system say what glymphatic system I know for many years I used to say I understand we have a lymphatic system that works together and it cleans all our body tissues from the neck and the shoulders the legs all the internal organs how about the brain and uh, it never came up until a few years ago I heard about this glymphatic system Aha! Uh -huh. This system jump into action during sleep, only during sleep, acting like an all-in-one delivery and trash pickup service for our neurons. And remember, our brain is made up of neurons, which are nerve cells. When you are deep asleep, the cerebral spinal fluid, and I'm going to show you some pictures, in the glymphatic system rushes along right next to the brain's blood vessels delivering the key supply or supplies while clearing out or cleaning up away the unwanted debris interesting isn't it wow it uses the cerebral spinal fluid to flush away toxic byproduct accumulated between the cells the nerve cells the lymphatic vessels which serve pathways for immune cells so it strengthens your immune system the, the cerebral spinal fluid is a clear colorless body fluid found within the tissues that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord it also acts as a cushion 
or a buffer and that provides basic mechanical and immunological protection to the brain inside the skull. So basically we have the skull, we have the meninges, which is a membrane, and then between the membrane and the organ, we have this fluid. While scientists, science, are still discovering and continuously exploring this restorative mechanism behind sleep, we can be sure that sleep is necessary, it's a necessity, if we want to maintain a healthy body and a healthy mind. Aging typically leads to some form of protein aggregation in the brain, which is associated with an increased risk of dementia. Additionally, the quality of sleep decreases with increasing age, ultimately resulting in a decline in brain waste clearance. The lymphatic system is constantly filtering toxins from the brain, but during waking hours, this system remains mainly disengaged. Although sleep is often associated with rest, glymphatic activity is dramatically boosted during sleep. Physical exercise and the movement of your muscles improve the lymphatic and the glymphatic function. Exercise has beneficial effects on the brain health. It reduces risk of neurological disorders and can improve the cognitive function. Exercise during midlife reduces risk for developing dementia decades later. To conclude, getting enough sleep each night is one of the best ways to support your brain's natural detoxification process. I hope that you found this video to be useful and walk away with simple and easy tips that will make your life easier and that will help you to fall into a deep sleep to detoxify your brain and the opportunity to pamper yourself. Remember to treat yourself with utmost respect. Until the next time, take care. Um, Blue, oh, oh, Blue, did you, did you wanna go for a walk? Did you want to go for a walk? <laughs> hey, did you want to go for a walk? Where? Where? Want to go outside? Want to go for a walk? Huh? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Which way? Which way? <laughs>